Alcohol's correct structure is one or more hydroxyl or OH groups connected to a carbon atom in an acyl group, also known as a hydrocarbon chain, which is usually represented by an uppercase R. To make an alcohol atom, you simply take the water molecule, which is H2O, and replace one of the hydrogen atoms by an acyl group. Some examples of alcohols are ethanol, which is found in drinking alcohol, methanol, which can be found in shampoo or plastic bottles, and cyclohexanol, which is used in the production of nylon, lacquers, and paint. Hello and welcome to this brief presentation of the special properties and potential uses of ethanol, methanol, and propanol. Ethanol, C2H5OH, is widely used and possibly one of the most known compounds in the alcoholic group. Ethanol is normally made via fermentation of sugars, for example, grapes to wine. Another way is to take ethene, C2H4, and steam, H2O, to make ethanol in a reaction. No matter how you make it, however, you cannot make pure ethanol without distillation. Only then do you have 100% ethanol. Most of the time, you just have 95% ethanol and 5% water in a simple mixture. Now, ethanol is used by a vast amount of products, especially, and most obviously, alcoholic drinks, gasoline, solvents for paint, varnish, etc., and also preserving biological specimens as it is an aldehyde. Propanol, C3H7OH, is mainly used for things that you would find in hospitals. Propanol is used for the rubbing alcohols and cleaning solvents for wounds or preparing the spot where your arm is about to receive an injection. Propanol is produced by a catalytic hydrogenic of propionaldehyde. In other words, it is the reaction of a molecular hydrogen with propionaldehyde, an organic compound. Propanol is exceptionally flammable and its potential uses are mainly in solvents such as rubbing alcohols, glycols, aldehydes, etc. Methanol, CH3OH, is not only the basic of compounds in the alcoholic group, but also the most useful. It is produced naturally by the metabolisms of bacteria. Methanol is also produced by the destructive distillation of wood. Methane is found naturally in gas, but so is methanol, as it is found in biomass, coal, waste, etc. Methanol is also a very flammable liquid, yet is used widely in gasoline for high-performance vehicles. Methanol is also used for cleaning dirty water as it does a great job of removing nitrogen. Finally, methanol is used to help make products, especially plastics, adhesives, refrigerants, and even pigments. As one can see, alcohol is in many things, helping us in many different ways. Now aside from the obvious effects on the human body that alcohol produces, ethanol, which is found in many alcoholic drinks, can take many forms. It can be oxidized when it is combined with certain acids such as potassium permanganate, potassium dichromant, and sodium dichromate. However, naturally ethanol is a liquid. Propanol takes the form of a liquid naturally and its chemical properties are normally used to help make solvents. Methanol, the most basic alcohol, is widely used. Today I'll be talking about the characteristic properties of alcohols. Now as we said before, alcohols are created when one or more hydrogen atoms in a hydrocarbon or an alkane are replaced with hydroxide or the OH molecule. Um, now, just a simple, simple little facts. The electronegativity of oxygen affects the uh, affects the charge of both oxygen and hydrogen, which creates an electric dipole, which makes a separation between the positive and negative charges. Now, there are three types of 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 uh, alcohol molecules. There's a primary, secondary, and tertiary. Now, the primary is when the OH uh, only connects to one one other molecule. Uh, then one, then the secondary is when it connects to two, and the tertiary is when it connects to three. And this is shown by the picture uh, right in front of you. Next, we have the different type of alcohols. As you can see down this list, we have methanol, chloromethane, all the different types of alcohols, and then you have their common names. You can see that they differ between the different types of 
uh, hydrogen and carbon and the amount of hydrogen and carbon that there is. Now we have for, for the real like chemical properties and physical properties, uh, alcohols are colorless and odorless. Methyl, ethyl, and isopropyl are free-flowing liquids at room temperature. Alcohols with 4 to 10 carbon atoms are oily and have deeper fruity odors at room temperature. Alcohols with 12 plus carbon atoms are solids at room temperature. Now the boiling points are much higher than regular alkanes for, for alcohols. They have an interesting relationship with water where methanol, ethanol, and and propyl alcohol and isopropyl alcohol and DT butyl alcohol are miscible with water. And this comes from the fact that water molecules contain hydroxyl groups that can form hydrogen bonds with other water molecules with and and with also other alcohol molecules. So that gives them the relationship between alcohol. So there are just a couple of quick facts about the different physical and chemical properties of alcohol. Thank you.